Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is my father-in-law and today we're going to be making lamb but he'll tell you all the details because he's the pro. Hi guys. People say daughter-in-law. Actually I must rather say daughter because she's just like a conjurer to me. Mine is a hobby actually for the cooking but she is the one who gave me incentive to go ahead to to make a video. Go, I normally used to cook, you know, in a normal way in the kitchen, but today it's a, it's a really a player to share the video with you guys. Today we are going to make actually mutton korma. So let us start. There are certain ingredients we have here. In mutton korma, there are six, seven wonderful spices, you know, which are well known with all the chefs, you know. This is javentry, then it's uh, cinnamon, then couple of you can say about five six cardamom and then jeera then some cloves about seven eight cloves oh it will be lovely it will give a wonderful fragrance you know and then we have salt in this one in addition to that we have some masalas if this is the soul of the mutton coma and this is the heart of mutton coma i must say rather uh, this is uh, coriander powder cumin powder, red chili and simple chili and garam masala and turmeric and then we have green chili and then we have ginger fried onions and then we have garlic paste and then coriander. I got about 2 kg of uh, lamb hair and before we put the meat in our utensil to cook it, please be careful, the mutton, lamb or any meat, let us say chicken, it must be nicely cleaned. That's very important while you're cooking. So Dad, you were saying that you're not supposed to use fresh onions into the pot, you're supposed to fry them first and then use them in the recipe? Yes, well the thing is I would like to rather uh, stress upon that we should use fried onion. I have done it beforehand just to save time. Also, is it white onion or red onion? Well, in coma it must be white onion. There you go. Alright, let's start. <laughs> in coma actually you, we must have a, some sort of, in Punjabi we call it Rogan Josh. Uh, not too much oil but there must be some oil you know. And it should be medium at the moment. There is uh, elachi, cardamom, about 6 7. We have to saute. We have to take those out right because Amin doesn't like eating them. <laughs> <laughs> we have to uh, put the mutton in the pila now. And mutton, we have to make it, at the moment it is, you can see it's a red, but we have to make it white, slightly white. You can see the color, it will be different, you know, in after maybe five minutes, or maybe ten minutes maximum. And then you shunt a lot of pani or tail, right? That's right, yes, you are absolutely right. And you will see immediately, you know, you can see some of the pieces, they are showing white color. I'm sorry, you know, I normally call Mandeep beta, you know, so <laughs> she's a daughter, she's a daughter-in-law, she's a son as well for me, so I call her every day. So you can see, you know, I mean, it's uh, showing a uh, white color now, slowly, steadily, I mean, it may take another, maybe another five minutes maximum. I have to stir it, otherwise it will get stuck underneath, so you have to do that. You have to carry on stirring. Even if it burns, you're going to smell and taste the burn, yes, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. 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 Your hubby, he doesn't like your know, lachi. Yeah. I mean, cardamom. What we do, we will take them out. We can't take them out ourselves. Or even when we're pouring it at the end, I'll just make sure I don't put any in the scoby. Yeah, that's right. You are right. And now we should be ready to put garlic. Garlic goes first. Because garlic is the thing which gets mixed up with the meal. You can you know the garlic. Oh, I can smell it now, yeah. yeah they say right. you're supposed to cook it until like the you can start smelling it because that, that means it's Absolutely right. Yeah. Okay, now we take the heat down. 
very low because we are going to put our main masala, main spices. The heating is high, so the masala get burned, you know. So we should make the heat down. And it's always better to have less salt than more because you can always add it after, right? That's yes, right. I put you know, at least one spoon less just for safe side because salt is such a thing, you know, you can put later as well. This spices I have told you already. So all these go here as well. Wow, the color already looks so oh, nice. Oh yeah, you can see that. Yeah, that's what I told you, you know, because it will be wonderful. Just see after maybe half an hour or so, it will be entirely different. And I haven't told you in mutton coma, you know, we have to put some yogurt as well. So you can see, you know, the mutton is uh, releasing some water as well. So which is good, you know, because it will get mixed up in the pieces, in the meat. So that will be uh, exactly the way I want. Dad, if they wanted to make less than that, like say one kg, you just like split all the ingredients in half, right? Same ingredients, but half. Okay. So I'm going to cover maybe about four to five minutes but be careful don't put the heat high otherwise it will get burned so it should be slow just to give a steam up to get the masala to get mixed up with the pieces that's it so some people you know they put as i told you earlier they put you know too much yogurt so you know yogurt must be about well i normally use three to four spoons so now it's four or five minutes you're done so you can see it's uh, boiling and we should again stir it up Okay, now again the heat should go down and we should put some yogurt spoons. Again the heat should go back to medium. And now the time has come when we can put our fried onions as well. So I just put you know fried onions. So uh, you can see Mandeep, she is doing now those you know very very important uh, spicy. So that's it. She's going to blend that. This smells like a high level version of garam masala. <laughs> yeah, that's it. because this will go at the end when the meat will be cooked and then it will wonderfully done. It's you know it should be like that. But now what we can do, we can cover meat, but we must keep an eye, which is very important. You know. So we are going to give 15 to 20 minutes to get cooked. So then we'll check whether it needs more water or it needs more to be cooked. Then accordingly we have to take next step. So that we will check later. So at the moment we leave it for 20 minutes, 15 minutes like that. I forgot to tell you one thing. Normally people put tomato puree in the mutton coma, but that's wrong. In mutton coma, you don't put I mean, tomatoes or tomato puree. It must be without that. Just see the taste that it does be different. So after 15 minutes, as you can see, everything is nicely going very fine, you know, the way I want it. We are going to put some water now because I know that the, the meat is not fully cooked yet. So Madhib is going to put the water. Do you need more time? Uh, another one, yeah. And as you know, I just put, you know, uh, garlic earlier. So now we have to put ginger. And green chili. That's it. And the most important part, the soul of the mutton coma, so these old masalas will go in there as well now. Oh, lovely fragrance. Jabi can they kushbu jedi yana khane di oh tanu jo maja hunda hunda now I can feel and you guys you are just looking you are just seeing but this is marvelous you got half glass we are going to put half glass of water more because you know mutton takes time to cook you know so now we leave for another twenty minutes to cook and we should leave. Heat on and medium heat on. After half an hour, 35 minutes, or maximum 45, 40 minutes, uh, I'm back now. It's 
still sizzling, very nicely done and the fragrance is unbelievable. I love it. I'm waiting for her to eat. Even Madeep can feel, you know, I mean, though she is not that fond of meat, she is very, uh, you know, uh, particular about her food. <laughs> But still, you know, she, which she, I'm sure she will love this. Yeah, I'm so excited. Yeah, that's right. And uh, now, as I told you, that we have to put the onion which we were keeping. Though we have put the main portion earlier, but now we, with hand, we have to crumble that, and then when they will do that, no, come. Like, like that? No, put like that. Crush it, crush it. Yeah, that's right. And put that. No. So you have to crush the you know, onion, that is uh, brown onion. It is uh, really a marvelous, uh, you know, ingredient at the end when the uh, mutton coma is ready. So she's doing that, she'll put that the whole lot now and then we will again give another maybe 5 to 10 minutes then our coma will be ready. <coughs> okay guys, so it's all done, it's all cooked, we put it into a nice dish for you and now we're going to try it for you on camera. And before we taste it, you know, I would like to uh, pay my thanks to Mandeep. Again, I would rather say, you know, people say daughter-in-law, but I say she's my daughter, actually. Yeah, my daughter, my son, my daughter-in-law, everything she is. Thanks goes to Karan and Aman. They also give me incentive. Why not, Dad? Mandeep is correct. Why not to do that on the video? And let us uh, now see how it goes on. <laughs> to me, it looks very tasty. I'm going to try. But I would like to first request Mandeep to taste it. Yeah, I'm so excited. I haven't had lime in so long. Yeah. Oh, very good, John. <laughs> very good. <laughs> Thank you. I know that. I know that. It is really marvelous. So good. I know, I know. Oh man. I the tani is so perfect. Excellent. Because the spices which goes in the Mutton coma, that's perfect. Mm. It's so it good. The or even rice or naan or broth, anything. Anything you can yeah, add. Yeah, it tastes so good. Uh, it's all the masala, all the spices are really nicely mixed up. Uh. And we have someone else that would like to try it. Come, come, Uncle. No, thank you still has come. <laughs> oh, look at that. It looks so nice. It looks like a restaurant bowl and everything. So you can still will try. Master chef yeah, in the house. Oh man. Mm. It's all that. <laughs> Amazing. I've grown up tasting the food like this, and that's got your Mandeep touch to it. Yeah, no, it was all dad. <laughs> no, dad and Mandeep as well. Because team. she has tried all the spices and just dad do that, we do all this, you know, it's a teamwork. Thank you very much, guys. So nice for sparing your time to watch this. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Make sure you guys subscribe if you're not subscribed down below. Yeah, my dad might just start a channel soon as well. Yeah, we might, depending on if you guys like this. Oh, you better. You can bet your dollar on me. Diamonds all be everything you want and you need. You got me going up and above. I can't get enough. It's like you put a spell on me. If you really bout it, then I'm bout it for sure. Yeah, you know I'm different than the ones before. Ain't nobody gotta know we can keep it on the low. You're the one I've been looking for.